They jam it out there. Five to the line. Manson, here's the drive. He scores! Dave Manson from the blue line just inside the far post, and the Hawks are on the board, trailing three to one. Side of the net, five. Gave it back to Savar. Again to Vibe, moving in front. He lost it. Now Manson a blast. He scores! Rick Vibe had it roll off the end of a stick, but right to Manson, and he cranked it by Barrasso. Two goals in the same spot. Held it in for Larmer, deep slot. His shot didn't get through. Coffee. And Coffee coughed it up. Here's Santa Pass right in. Shoot! He scores! Everett Santa Pass jumped on a giveaway from Coffee, fired it right between the pearly gates of Barrasso. 3-3 now. Extra to the right wing board for Frawley. The ex-captain of the Penguins is tied up. A steal. Here's a feed for Presley right in. He shoots. He scores! Wayne Presley on a quick counterattack was put in all alone. And the Blackhawks with four straight goals have grabbed the lead. Here's Savard now over the line, cutting in, centered it. Here's a shot. They score! Yanni, a short-handed goal set up by Savard, and the Blackhawks have scored five in a row. They lead five to three. He put it to the line. Coffee, the shot, and a save rebound. They score! Number 33, Zarli Zalapski. Long feet of the Mew, quick pass to Quinn, he's in, he shoots, he scores! What a play by the Penguins, they move the puck 200 feet down the ice in about three seconds with a quick pass. It's 5-5 now. Conroy took a big hit from Eric. Here's Lemieux moving in, shoot! And a save by Waite, rebound in behind the goal. Loops it into the Chicago zone. Vincelette on the left wing boards. Able to clear it as he took a big hit from Cunningworth, and now the offside call made. Now here's Vincelette taking a swing at Cunningworth, who swings back. Then Presley ran over Cunningworth from behind. And here they go in the Penguin zone. And meanwhile, Vincelette is shaken up. He gave Cunningworth a poke with his gloves in the face. He nothing really happened. He kind of looked away or lost his concentration, and Cunningworth drifted him. And now a big wrestling match with all sorts of guys tangled up in the Penguin zone. Well, Cunningworth with the glove on caught Vince Lett by surprise with a left and Vince Lett went down. Then Presley jumped in. Big frustration shown by the Blackhawks here and the fact that they're no matter what happens, no matter what the Penguins do to them, they don't get a penalty called against them. Cunningworth just took a charge. That was at least three steps. It was a, a charging penalty without a doubt there on Cunningworth. And Vince Lett was nailed by Cunningworth, so they, he took exception to it. And then Cunningworth just nailed him with the stick and the glove. So Presley came in and leveled him from behind, and all hell broke loose. Well, he was hit not only with a glove, but with a stick, too. Cunningworth with the left hook and the stick coming across to hit Vince Lett right in the nose. Cunningworth came clear across the ice for that check. Should have been a charging penalty. Power play. Here's Steve Thomas trying to move in. He's tied up, and behind the play, we may have had a problem. Well, the Penguins are probably going to try and goad the Blackhawks into a silly penalty here, and they better just... Show a lot of self-control. Here's Lemieux into the hog zone, moving in for Airy. He scores! A short-handed goal for Pittsburgh. And the Penguins grab the lead at 6-5. to five. Into the far side, shooting, and a save by Barrasso, and he gives no rebound. And then Graham run over by Bork. He may get a penalty. The Hawks should be backing off here. I think the Penguins are going to be two men short unless the Hawks... Get a little too excited. It looked as right away, it looked as if referee Marowelli pointed Bork to the penalty box. And the Hawks trying to come to the aid of their own player. Let's see if they get one as well. I think Savard is going to nullify that opportunity for a two-man power play. And Savard 
came flying in after here. Graham just hit after the whistle. Definitely a penalty. Marawelli called it, and Savard came in and gets a, a penalty for what? I don't know. He just came in to the melee, and he'll get a penalty to offset the Bork penalty. So now a fight behind the play. Santa pass and Jay Caulfield wrestling at center ice. Caulfield, a tough customer, got in a couple of lefts, a short left. Now they wrestle along the board. Wrestling in close quarters. Jay Caulfield and Everett Santa pass, and down they go. And now the linesman able to separate them with just under 13 minutes to go in the third. Pittsburgh six, Chicago five on Sports Vision and BBM. Picked off by Larmer, ahead for Savard. He cuts in, shooting. He scores! Dennis Savard, a short hand. Ripped it by Barrasso on the short side, the stick side, the second shorty for the Hawks tonight. They've tied the game at six. And once again. Now Hilliard to the far side. Took a hit from Noonan. And Cullen trying to move in front, tied up by Bork. Now another Penguin joins, then Santa Pass helped out, centering Larmer at his feet. He can't find it. And he's knocked down in a penalty coming up here to the Penguins. The Blackhawks with a minute 21 will have a chance to win the game on the power play. Now a steal by Zalapsky. Gave it to Hillier with plenty of time. He waits and clears. And it bounced to center a breakaway. Here's Hannon right in for the game. You score. Penguins win on their third shorthanded goal of the game. What a unfortunate bounce for the Hawks. They tried to keep a clearing attempt in. It bounced off a glove at the line, right to hand and at center. He had clear sailing, and it's seven to six. But Hillier, with all kinds of time, waited, 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 and then just slapped it up the middle. Now Conroy went to glove it. It deflects off his glove right to hand and was onside. Talk about bad luck. If it wasn't for bad luck, they wouldn't have any luck at all. And Hannon beats Wait with five seconds to go. Their short, second short-handed goal. Their fourth, the fourth short-handed goal of the game. Five seconds to go in the game, and Hannon buries it upstairs. A short-handed goal. Yanni scored a shorthanded goal. Airy scored a shorthanded goal. Savard scored one. And now Hannon, which appears to be the game winner. Boy, the Hawks can do nothing right.